Hey everybody, I'm Katie and this is Lucas. Um, and what's happening here is that I am a trans person, male to female. Um, and due to kind of a funny change in my schedule recently, I find myself at home mid mornings uh, with a uh, little Lou and uh, just doing my makeup. And go ahead, buddy, you don't have to sit up here. And it occurred to me that this would be a really kind of a nice time to stop and spend some time talking about trans issues, talking about makeup, talking about people's perceptions. Um, I have made a lot of really fabulous friends um, in the trans community and just supportive people, the most interesting people out there in the whole world. Um, and I thought that that I would just start sort of uh, sitting down in the morning while I do my makeup, which I do every morning, um, and inviting people in to come and chat and uh, meet and greet and sort of uh, start a little society. And if you've never seen someone try to put on makeup with the help of a one-year-old, it's pretty much comedy gold. So um, I'm just going to start my day just like I always do and uh, Lulu's gonna help back there in the background and then uh, hopefully I'll have other folks come in and join me so um, I don't really know what to say about myself I think that I'm very typical of a trans person I'm actually about the age that most people transition a lot of the ladies that you see on the internet are really really lovely and very very young um, but they are actually not that typical uh, most folks uh, have uh, had a family, have tried to do the normal, whatever normal is supposed to be kind of thing, um, and it just never worked for them because they were in the wrong body and they couldn't make the rest of their life around them happen. And that's uh, absolutely true for me. Obviously, I, I do have a family. I have another daughter who's 17 uh, who is with her mother right now, and I just miss her terribly. Um, but um, that's kind of me. I'm sure that... I talk about myself obsessively, so I'm sure that we'll talk about me more. I actually thought that I would spend some time this morning talking about some of the other people that you see online. I'm using absolutely from Walmart Studio 35 Beauty Age Control Day Cream to go underneath my makeup. Um, uh, I thought I would talk about some of the other uh, really wonderful people who are out here on YouTube and are available to talk about male to female things and, and uh, record some really awesome videos. How you doing, buddy? Come on up. Do you want some too? Yeah. You want a little age control? There you go. Stop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Rub it in. There you go. Right on. Um, so I actually have a, a whole sort of cadre. A lot of folks, when they first start um, transitioning or thinking about transition, just spend hundreds of hours watching those uh, male to female transition videos. And um, uh, those videos are great. Have a lot of confidence that that will happen to you. Um, if you watch a lot of those transition videos, wow, my hand is so greasy, I can't open this. Um, if you watch a lot of, I'm using a Everyday Mineral Base right now, so a very kind of light colored base because I'm a light colored girl. Um, there's a, a kind of a moment, you still got it all over your face. Okay. Yeah, well, come on up. Um, there's a kind of a moment, you know, those folks start with their transition videos and they start with, pictures from when they were a kid and a teenager, and then you sort of reach this video or this photo, and they're like, this is the week I started transition, and you don't see anything. And then for like the next 30 photos, you're like, well, does transition ever happen? Um, it does. It's amazing, and it's weird when it starts to happen. Um, if you look at my from before hormones until now photos, I'm about seven months into hormones, uh, for like three months. You just really can't tell. And then just all of a sudden one day, how's it going? You're doing great. Uh, then just all of a sudden one day, it's like, wait a minute, there are changes. And then once you start to see them, they're amazing. And there are a whole lot of reasons for that. Um, the, one of the real key ones in terms of your face is that your skin cells have a life cycle of so many months, I don't know what it is, like two months or something, three months, whatever. And so when you first start taking hormones, you don't really see much change in your face because those are the same skin cells that were loaded up on testosterone all those months ago. Please don't open. I don't mind you playing with, but you've gotten kind of good at opening, and that kind of freaks me out. Yeah. Um, and so you start on the hormones, and absolutely nothing happens except that you start getting moody and emotional and feeling a little bit bloated if you've got too much progesterone in you. Um, but when you stick with it after a couple of months, all of a sudden it goes, wow, that's a crazy change in my face. You know, if you look at my before and after pictures of my face, even right now, just seven months into hormones, it's like, are you sure that's the same person? That's that's really amazing. That's like a really tremendous change. 
I suppose that now that I started this whole video business, yeah. see it here, I will have to um, do one of those photographic series. I'm looking for a color. So um, I'm not at all a makeup expert, but kind of what I'm doing is I just put down a little bit of a, a kind of a foundation color for myself, and I'm actually going to tweak that with a little bit of concealer um, uh, to kind of add a little uh, shape to my face by creating lighter and darker areas. So this is uh, uh, the very cheapest Rimmel Match Perfection Light Perfecting and Classic Ivory. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is I, I get dark circles and I yeah. like to brighten my nose and kind of brighten yeah. the point of my chin. Yeah. 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 Uh, Lucas is saying thank you for some reason. He speaks Chinese. Um, he's very thankful about something. Huh? Yeah? Are you having a good morning? Do you want to tell us how your morning is going? Also, the concealer is really fabulous for hiding. The mustache. I get a tendency to get that five o'clock shadow, and it's appalling. So, got to get that out of there. What? Well, I don't know. I just like to talk to the computer for some reason. Uh, maybe at some point I'll post a video of Lucas dancing to uh, Puffy Yumi Ami singing the Power Rangers, not the Power Rangers. When there's trouble, you know who to call. Teen Titans, that's right, that's who it is. From their tower, they can see it all. When the bad guy's on the attack, you know who has got your back. Teen Titans, oh, you did a good job opening that. We don't want it open. Thank you. Um, where was I? Oh, so I was talking about other folks that you might like to watch, um, and I was talking about those timeline videos, but then after I uh, sort of got a little tired of timeline videos, some of which are really spectacular, some of those girls have really, really done well for themselves, um, I started looking at uh, sort of uh, girls who are running channels, sort of like this, where they come on every week or two weeks or whatever and talk, and I kind of wanted to give you some pointers on where to go to find some of the ones that I really, really enjoy uh, and follow. Um, and I guess I would say first one I would talk about is Violet4151. She runs a channel here. She also runs a patron or Patreon, however that's pronounced, so that you can go out and uh, fund her uh, as she puts up her videos. Um, and I do that. Uh, Violet was the first woman I saw whose voice just completely fooled me. I'm, I have no voice at all. One of the reasons why I want to do this project uh, is to practice my voice, which I might have been doing. Um, but Violet is extremely sweet and really kind of no-nonsense and talks very straight about life and um, was very uh, informative. I really enjoyed her. Um, and still watch her. Uh, although I don't think she's posted a new video in a while. Um, then um, Carol Land, C-A-R-O-L-A-N-D, is this wonderful, I think she's probably uh, a Latino of some kind, but I don't actually know where she's from or anything about her, but she is very, very pleasant um, uh, and very sweet and, and uh, really very enjoyable to talk to, and I don't know my colors for the obvious reasons. I think I keep opening the same one over and over again. Um, these are MAC which I understand are fabulously expensive. Um, and they were given to me by a professor at my university in support of the transition. Well, we're going to go ahead and you because I can't find the one I want. There's the one. All right. So, um, uh, Carolyn is uh, really, really lovely. She's uh, um, uh, fully post-surgical, been living completely as a woman for years now. Um, really doing very well for herself. Very, very pleasant company. So what I'm doing now is what's called contouring, and I'm really not very good at it. Um, but the idea is, is that now I've created these sort of bright spots on my face, and I'm going to offset them with some sort of darker spots on the sides of my face, so that on the whole my face has a kind of a, a more female shape, a more female look. Sometimes I also put a little bit right underneath there. Uh, this is the wrong brush. So, um, Carolyn is, uh, is wonderful. This is a really dark, darker than the one I usually use, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. Woo, woo. Now that's a shadow. What have we done, buddy? Oh my goodness. Let's get that straightened out. You should never touch your face, so just keep that in mind as I touch my face. So I'm trying to create kind of a, a female 
the shape there. And this is really dark, really, really dark. I sort of think this is meant to be an eyeshadow. Uh, uh, so that was Carolyn, and Carolyn is, is wonderful. Uh, Princess Jules cracks me up. She's very funny, uh, uh, sort of catty, um, uh, wonderful, uh, self-empowered. She does a lot of sort of interesting videos um, with the – uh, community where she lives. Uh, um, she uh, did a sort of set of videos one time that are uh, homosexuals and transgenders looking at each other Ooh. naked with the idea that they're going to normalize that behavior. Or I don't know if normalize is the right word, but the idea that everybody has a body and it's just a body and you shouldn't worry about it. Um, and those videos were very funny for sort of obvious reasons. Um, and uh, I really enjoy her and recommend her. Um, and then I think the person that I actually um, learned the most from, and I actually know her, I don't know her very well, uh, but we met online, we're friends on Facebook, um, is uh, Girl for All Seasons. Um, she's in England, and she's uh, fully post-op. She's just beautiful. You would never suspect. Uh, what I'm about to do here is put on, oh, you know what, I'm not either. I'm going to light this up a little bit first. Um, you would never suspect that uh, uh, she was trying to say something. Um, and one of the reasons why I really enjoy her is because she is a race car driver. She drives uh, um, uphill racing. So I got a little bit concerned about how dark that was, and so I'm putting a little lighter line above it. Uh, you should also put a little blush up there, but I don't think I'm going to because it's just not my thing. All right. So uh, I created a little bit of a contour and a little bit of a kind of a female shape. I should have also put some down there, but I'm getting a little worried about how dark this is. How's it going, buddy? Are you doing good? You've gotten, yeah, you've gotten all of the eyeshadows out of the eyeshadow area. Now I have to go look for them. That's a great job. All right. Um, um, she is uh, Charlie Martin Racing, um, and uh, she drives race cars uphill, and she's a television personality, and she gets interviewed. Um, it's the same style of racing as the Pikes Peak Rally, um, if any of you are familiar with that, except in Europe, uh, she, ra she races in a French circuit. Um, and so just to see a woman, you know, there's a, a little bit of kind of a myth out there that if you're trans, you're somehow soft or weak. I had somebody give me a lecture one time about you will be acquiring second-class status because there's this whole issue of, of women and, and uh, not getting equal pay and not having equal rights and so on and so forth. And so to see Charlie out there um, living as a woman, but very much living um, the life that she wants to live. She posted a bunch of videos of herself snowboarding one day. Okay, thank you, thank you. We keep them closed, remember? That's kind of the rule. You can play with them, but you have to keep them closed, right? Um, so to see her you know, on top of the game, really doing very well for herself. Um, and as a trans person, I think is, is just really, really empowering. I mean, we keep opening the same one, and I keep taking it away from you. Trying to figure out the pattern there, okay? There you go. See if you can open a different one. All right, so now we come to absolutely um, the moment of comedy in all of this. Uh, I am eyeliner impaired. To begin with, and Lucas loves to provide me with assistance uh, while I do my eyeliner. And um, yeah, this is really entertaining. This isn't the eyeliner. Where's the other eyeliner, honey? Okay, well, we're not going to get the other eyeliner right now, so we'll just use this one. Uh, I suppose I should just give up and use a pencil. As a matter of fact, I think I kind of will this morning just because it's our first morning. Uh, so I'm going to go with a what is this dark brown eyeliner number 629 by wet and wild I don't know why you're supposed to say the brand name I guess these are all advertisements for somebody maybe someday I'll have a big expensive advertising contract okay, you've helped me so much okay well we're just gonna go with the liner when I when I, I like the gel eyeliner and I like to put it right along the, the top of the line so that my uh, uh, eyelashes. I live for big, full eyelashes. That just really gets me very happy. Um, and um, that eyeliner, if you put it on real fine, that gel eyeliner, it really does wonderful for that. Um, unfortunately, the good gel eyeliner has become a victim of my able-bodied assistant, who is currently working to open this same eyeshadow again. And then you'll get it taken away from me. I hate to tell you that. 
you know that's what was going to happen. All right. So, but for today, I'm just going to go with just a, a little bit of a pencil. Uh, and my sharpener is also missing. I actually don't think it's in this box. I don't think it's the help that I've been giving. Um, so uh, I really recommend Charlie. Um, and uh, I don't know who else I would say. I, I've watched some other videos. There are a lot, a lot of ladies out there, and, and men too, uh, folks going the other direction. Um, out there uh, talking about their experiences and making sure we're, we're not real lonely and I, maybe that's something that's sort of important to say you know people who um, are trans are not actually as uncommon as you think um, but we're just now sort of starting to appear in social consciousness and so there's this sort of feeling like or has been for my whole life that you know I'm pretty much the only person who ever thinks this except for sort of obscure people uh, that you've never heard of the uh, woman who wrote the recorded the album hooked on Bach uh, back in the 1970s uh, it was a transition she may have even been in the 60s I'm not sure uh, was a trans person and has lived her, her entire adult life or or uh, her recent adult life uh, Okay, recent since the 1970s, so that gives you some idea how long I'm uh, as a trans person. Thank you for helping me put it away. That's great. You're doing a great job. Um, and, you know, they would show up from time to time, other trans folks in the media, but it was really very rare, and there was a lot of violence towards them. And So this idea that you can be trans and be raising a baby or be trans and be at work, which I am completely out at work. Good job, buddy. Um, I go to work in a dress every day, and everybody calls me Katie, and it's really lovely. Um, that idea is, is sort of new and fresh, and I guess that's one thing that I like to say to people. You know, a lot of the point of what we're doing right now is just to be ordinary people having an ordinary day. Any single mom who's ever tried to put on makeup with their one-year-old will understand the moment I'm having every morning. Uh, well, I get the help I need. Okay. Um, so uh, go out there, find people that make sense to you. You know, maybe some of the people that really appeal to me will not appeal to you. And some of the people that I've watched, and kind of went, oh, you're not my person, uh, will be somebody that really appeals to you. So um, I have no hope of ever having these in the same order twice, but I don't even try. Oh, well, Matt, you took them all out. Hey, there's the other pencil. Now, can you find the other eyeliner? I have a gel eyeliner. It's Mary Kay. B. No. No. That's blush. 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 I don't want the blush. Anyway, okay, so now I'm about to do my eyes, and I kind of do my eyes a little bit different, uh, I think, than a lot of people do, because um, I, I really worry a lot about how deep set my eyes are, um, and um, that's why we started with foundation down here, right, is to, to bring those eyes out. And I'm actually going to go really, really light inside, and then I'm going to carry that light all the way up here to my eyebrow ridge before I start adding color. Um, and again, I'm using a bare metal product. Where's my little brush? Yeah, my brush. I'm gonna come over here with my little brush so that you can't help. Me. All right, so um, so that's the folks that I watched. That's really all that I was gonna talk about this morning, um, except uh, I don't know what to talk about now. I'm talking about makeup. Lucas, do you have anything you want to cover? Oh, dude, you are wearing so much makeup. Uh, babies can and should be given cool cream. Protect their sweet little faces and get the makeup off of them. All right, so I'm using a uh, bare minerals. It's a very light. I don't know what color it is. It's very very light. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a highlight right in there on both sides using a little brush that is actually a little Mary Kay brush, not a bit compact, but serves for the task very well. Um, I don't know what else should we talk about if we were trans. Um, I guess I should talk about like uh, when did you know, how did you know, did you always know, and the answer is no, I did not. Um, I spent a lot of my childhood being different and uh, not understanding why. Uh, there was sort of a famous incident when I was a kid. Um, I was at a, a pair of twins birthday party and it was a boy and a girl. 
and I was allowed to go do all the boy things, and I wasn't allowed to go do all the girl things, and I thought it was stupid. And I raised a snit because I wanted to do the girl things too. And the girls wouldn't let me in to the play place. So it's always been in my consciousness. It's always been a part of me. Um, but my sort of awareness that it was something that I would want to do has sort of come and gone. There was a period in the late 80s when I was in college where I wasn't attempting to transition, but I had all these fantasies of you know, what if something miraculous happened and blah, blah, blah. Then I got sort of busy with life. I had my first daughter, uh, my first child, who is a daughter, I guess, uh, and distracted and uh, years and years of hoopla in there. And it kind of came and went. And uh, after that divorce, I came very, very close. I decided to make one more shot at this whole macho man thing. I want the gold one, buddy. Where's the gold one? I uh, got married again, which was... Disaster. Um, and now here I am picking up the pieces with the new little guy and finally ready to be myself. Finally ready to talk about who I've always been and share the feelings. Um, how do you feel about all that, Lou? Uh, do you care at all? You don't care at all. All right. So that's a. Uh, as much of my story is as interesting, I suppose. Um, I'm sure that if we start doing this more and more mornings, more and more of it will come out. Um, who I am during the day, I'm a university student during the day. Ah, that, you're just too fast for me, little buddy. And I work as an IT tech support person at the university where I am a student. And... I'm out. I started coming out. I uh, came out to my advisor, and she said, yeah, I think the university is a safe place. You'll be all right. And I started outing myself, you know, and the society is so great these days. It's so completely different than it was when I was a kid. You know, when, when I was a kid, we played Smear the Queer. How rude is that? I mean, that's just a terrible thing to be doing. But, uh, all right, I think I'm satisfied. Um, but uh, I wanted to out myself to the other uh, work studies, right? And uh, I was really nervous about it. And I asked my advisor, what should I say? And blah, 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 blah. Thank you for going ahead and closing that. You know, we are almost done with the menu. What are you going to do with the rest of your day? Oh, my gosh. Um, this is what it's all about. It's all about putting on mascara. I love to put on mascara. I feel fabulous when I'm wearing mascara. It just... I love what it does with my eyes. Um, so anyway, I, I'm going to go out myself, right? And um, <laughs> the uh, two of the work studies are sitting up at the front counter, and I go up and I'm like, um, so I want to tell you something. It's kind of a little, you know, and I'm really, really nervous about how they're going to react. And one of them is uh, on her phone texting away. And the other one is typing something. And I told them, you know, transgender and so on and so forth. And one of them said, the one that was typing something, looked up and went, okay. And the one that was texting goes, yeah. She goes, yeah, everybody's different somehow. This is it. This is my great moment. You know, ah, 45 years of terror to get to this moment. Okay, here's an important safety tip for those of you who didn't just figure out how old I am. Um, right after you put your mascara on, don't blink or open your eyes because this is mascara that has not had a chance to dry. And now I will have to repair that, uh, which if I use the liquid eyeliner with Lucas's help, that can be a really major part of your day, trying to fix his assistance. How's it going? You see the kid in the mirror? Oh, honey, what are you wearing? Close it. Okay, we're just going to shut this now because you are getting too fast at opening the makeups. And we are almost done, so we don't need any more help. You will get a cold coming here in a minute, so just beware. Watch yourself. Thank you. All right, so um, that was it. That was the whole transition. Um, in the entire time that I've been telling people about it, uh, I've had two people who have reacted negatively, uh, one of whom uh, was somebody that I didn't know who got on Facebook to tell me about how sinful I am, which is fine, I suppose, but I'll take it up with the higher power and not with that person. 
Um, and the other one is Baby Mommy, who's busy being kind of freaked out at the moment, but that's all right. Do you think she'll get over it? I think she'll get over it. Oh, you just look great, buddy. You just look great. You are going to get so clean in the face here in a minute. All right. And we are almost there. Well, I did it again. Hey. Jack Nabbit. So, anyway, that's my coming out story. Not too dramatic. Um, I own a little publishing company, and uh, folks in the publishing company have pretty much been awesome. Uh, I have two employees, uh, neither of them an eye, which was great. Uh, in fact, one of them, uh, who is my editor, who I suspect you'll meet on this channel someone, uh, or my chief editor, I should say, uh, was the first person that I talked to. I was thinking, I'm ready to do this. And, uh, hey, how's it going? Don't be pushing that button. That right there is a mistake. All right. Um, Ow. And I've got a tremendous community of friends. This makeup was all gifted to me by a professor at the university. I have some very good friends. What is that? Don't eat that. I have some very good friends that I've developed at the university who are just wonderful, and I go ask them questions about things that boys are never taught. All right, now we're just going to go in just very lightly and repair the best hair damage. All right. And then we'll be dressed for the day, and we'll stop the video. Look, hey, come here, come here. Oh, where's your nine-nine? Where's your nine-nine? Let me distract you, dude. Where's your nine nine? Where'd your nine nine go? I don't know where your nine nine is. Oh, the oh, there's your shway. Your nine nine is there. Do you see it? You don't see it. That's all right. I do. You're gonna get down. You can get down. Oh, look at mommy play mind tricks. Ha 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 ha. All right. So we're just going to clean up a little bit of a mascara disaster there, very softly. And there you go. All right. So um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with my hair today. Probably just brush it back and put a little spray on it. So I got a little bit of a front here. Probably look pretty much like that. And I think I'm going to go with a... Uh, skirt with green leaves on it that I have that I really like and a green blouse that matches so I don't. yeah we're almost done and then we're gonna clean your face oh my god oh what a mess all right so um I'm Katie and uh, this is Lucas and this has just been makeup in the morning so um we'll come back tomorrow a couple days from now uh and just sort of start uh, bringing friends in and talking about trans issues in life uh, I'm a software design major so maybe uh, we'll talk about software design absolutely if you have questions post a question below subscribe send me a comment um and we'll talk about whatever you'd like to talk about I'm here every morning so why not all right. Thanks, everybody.